Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking about butter knife which is a view and method binding library by Jake Wharton. So without wasting any further time, let's jump into Android Studio and see how does it help us. So here inside Android Studio, I've created an empty project. As you can see that we don't have anything inside main activity. Now let's go into activity main.xml. And here as you can see that here, firstly we have a text view which says hello world. And then we have a button with an ID of button. Then we have an image view with an ID of image view. Then here at the very bottom we have the first name text view and the last name text view with respective IDs of first name text view and last name text view. So now to install button knife in your project what you need to do you need to go to their github page and if we scroll down there we have a download section. So firstly we need to add the compile options. So let's command C and command V inside our but app level build dot gradle file inside here and then we just copy the dependencies from here and again in our dependencies we just paste it and let's click on sync now so like i'm getting an error here that manifest merger failed in case you are also getting this error then what you need to do you need to go to refactor here and we just need to migrate it to android x and let's click on migrate and let's save it again and now let's click on do refactor and after all this is done your project would be ready to use butter knife and now let's just run this application once so let's see what do we have in our emulator so there we have a text view a button and an image view we don't see that image view because there isn't any image in that image view and then we have our first name and last name text views so now let's see how do we use butter knife so firstly for the text view, write text view, text view. So typically what you need to do when you want to set a text inside a text view, we need to do something like this text view equal to find view by id r dot id dot text view. And then we need to set text view dot set text like this. So blah, blah, blah. So this is the old school way. So now let's see how does butter knife help us. The first thing to do when using butter knife is to bind butter knife to your activity butter knife dot bind and target would be this like this and next you need to annotate your text view with some binding annotations. So we need to bind this uh, text view using bind view annotation and r dot id dot text view because the id of our text view is text view and now you can set the text of the text view using simply like this set text blah 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 and now if we run our application we can see that the text view has a text of blah 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 now let's see how do we bind a method to a button so let's suppose we created a method like button click here and then we just make a toast here when a button is clicked and button clicked and then we need to bind this method to our button that is this button here with an id of button so what we need to do we need to annotate it with an annotation called on click on click and then we need to pass in the id of the button so it is like this and if we run our application again, we can see that this method is invoked when we click on the button. So as you can see, when we click the button, we get an toast here like button clicked. So now we have some more annotations like add on long click. And again, we need to bind it to our button. So r.id.button and let's create a method called on long click and again we just make a toast simple toast like on long click and let's run this again and let's see what happens here and if we simply click the button we get a button click and if we long click on the button we see we are getting on long click so let's see one more annotation that is on touch so on touch 
and here I'll instead of using a single ID I'll pass in two IDs here like first ID is the r dot ID dot text view and the second ID would be r dot ID dot first name text view so let's create the method that is on touch like this and again let's just make a toast simple toast not toad it is toast like on touch and let's run this application so whenever we touch this text view or the first name text view we'll get a toast that is on touch so if we touch this first name we can see that we get on touch here and if we click this text view also we can get on touch here now what more you can do you can just because these both are text views you can pass in a text view parameter to your method and on touch what more we can do we can use text view dot get text like this from here and if we run this application again and if we click on first name on touch first name and if we click here on touch blah 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 so now since we have two text views here that is the first name text view and the last name text view we can use list for these text views so to use lists what we can do list of a text view so name text views and we need to bind it using bind views and here we need to pass in IDs which we need to bind to this list first name text view and second is the r dot id dot last name text view like this so let's make a for loop here so for text view text view in name text views like this and what we can do we can just log it into our console plus text view dot get text and here let's just make our tag so log t that's our tag and if we run this application we can see that when we run this application and let's just copy this uh, main activity and let's just paste it inside here we see that in on create we are getting our first name and last name because that is the text inside these text views so that makes uh, your life a hell lot easier when using list of text views so now what more we can do with this library I have a string inside this resource folder called string my string so now to get this string inside our activity what we need to do or rather typically what we need to do uh, is we need to define a string a string equal to get resources dot get string and we need to pass the ID of the string that is my string like this but here using butter knife what we can do we can just comment it out and here we can bind our string also so a string my string like this and here again we annotate it with bind string and r dot string dot my string and then we can use this my string inside our text view again text view dot set text my string and if we run this application we can have this string that is this is my string in the string resource file inside our text view so there you go there we have it now let's see let's find our image view that is this image view so let's just use that image so add bind view and r dot id dot image view and this image view is of type image view that's the first one image view and then what more we can do here inside a drawable folder I have the copied this logo that is logo.png so we can again find this logo using this annotation method so add bind drawable r dot drawable dot logo and this is a drawable so let's say drawable drawable so we have our image view we have our drawable so what we can do we can do it, use it like this image view dot set image trouble and trouble is a trouble so let's run this application again and then we can see that butter knife is in our image view like here
So guys, this is all about the video about butter knife. So if you have liked the video, do hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can support me on patreon.com. I'll provide the link in the description below. And all the code is available on GitHub. So thank you. Bye-bye. Tata. Take care and have a good day.